1 Corinthians. For I have received from the Lord what I handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice, after supper, saying, This chalice is a new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we're celebrating the Mass for Joe Lakota. And Joe's funeral will be on Saturday. Joe is a great man of faith. So as we celebrate the sacred mysteries, we have a very special feast day. It's the Solemnity of the Annunciation. So as we celebrate this great feast, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the highest. And on earth, peace to the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Joel Akutta. O oh God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we, who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, may merit to become partakers, even of his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, 10 through 14, 8, 10. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, As for a sign from the Lord your God, let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary people. Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Response song is number 40. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought not. Then I said, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. 
your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. The second reading is a reading from Hebrews chapter 10, 4 through 10. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In the Holocaust and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delight in him. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Christ Jesus once for all. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town called Na a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, may it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was thinking of the awesomeness of God in creating everything and then becoming a creature in his own creation. And, you know, all the unusual things about God. You know, he was born of a virgin, conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit, born in a stable, then all worked so many miracles, like walking on water, feeding the hungry, raising the dead, healing the sick, driving out demons. And then people rejected him, put him on a cross. And he was that suffering servant, never opening his mouth. But that's not the end of the story. You know, they had the resurrection. And then he sent the Holy Spirit to the church. He established the church. And the very fact that the church has survived, in spite of bad popes and bad bishops and bad priests and bad people, you know, it's a testimony to the Holy Spirit. And Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. And when he was on the cross, he gave us Mary to be our mother. And it's amazing throughout history, all the apparitions we've had and all the Eucharistic miracles. You know, Jesus designated the Eucharist as his special way of coming to us until he comes again. And the Jesus who came in the incarnation comes to us at every mass in the form of bread. 
and uh, then you have all the people um, near death experiences all the apparitions you know all the, the apostles and the first 30 popes and the thousands of people that have been martyred in the name of Jesus since his time it's just fascinating when you think about it all the all all that God has done for us all that God has done for us and yet he doesn't force himself on us each individual has to open their hearts and decide do you want a relationship with God through Jesus Christ or not and if he does if you do he empowers you to become a child of God and things in life go so much better with Jesus no matter what study you look at people with faith are happier healthier and wealthier Please stand now as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was in the of the Virgin Mary, and became a man. For our sake he was crucified and punished his life. He suffered death in the Spirit, and he rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spread through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray and present our needs to God. Let us pray for Joel Okoda, for whom this Mass has been offered, and for his family. May they have peace and consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, Leda Nihilus, whose funeral will be on Friday. May God grant her eternal rest and peace, and to the family, consolation and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We have so many sick people. We lift them up in prayer. And we lift up the medical profession as they care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the workers in our new church and with the circus there for their safety and for the successful completion of this project. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's guidance and direction in all that we say and do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving to God for all the people who said yes to Jesus and became part of a discipleship quad in our parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all former and inactive Catholics. May they come back to Jesus Christ in the church and in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this beautiful feast day. May we say yes to Jesus like Mary did and allow him to come into our hearts. And we pray in his holy name, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hand, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offerings, so that she, who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Just one quote about the Eucharist. If it's only a symbol to hell with it, who said that? If it's only a symbol to hell with it, well then I won't tell you. <laughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, mindful of the coronavirus. The Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of true faith, we pray, O oh Lord, so that confessing that we, that, confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for me. So glad I have an Aunt May, which is a short form of Mary. <laughs> Many biblical references can be pointed to as we read Luke's Gospel today. The Feast of the Annunciation goes back to the 4th or 5th century, its focus being the Incarnation, the truth of God becoming man, one of us. You see, God had decided from all eternity that the second person of the Blessed Trinity should become human. In a previous reading in Genesis, we heard the Lord tell the serpent, the devil, that I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. Mary is this woman and Jesus Christ is her offspring. Isaiah, in the first reading, promises the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, God is with us. Though referring at the time to the wife of King Ahaz, a future virgin was also meant Mary and her son Jesus, God with us. Hebrews from the New Testament make sure we know that Christ said to his father, Sacrifice and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delight in him. Quoting Christ further, he says, I come to do your will. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Christ once and for all. We must also thank Mary for this great privilege. She accepted Gabriel's offer and said, yes, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word, just as you will, God my Father, just as you will. Thank you. Thank you, Meg. I have a cute email here. The pastor was looking over the nativity scene the day after Christmas when he noticed that the baby Jesus was missing. He went outside and saw a little boy pulling a new red wagon. In the wagon was Jesus. 
He walked up to the boy and said, Hi there, where did you get the baby Jesus? The boy answered honestly and without remorse in the church. Why did you take him? The pastor asked. Well, said the boy, I asked Jesus for a wagon for Christmas. I told him that if he gave me one, I'd give him a ride in it. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks now let's pray the beautiful prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, in the hearts of your favor. Send forth your Spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, instruct the hearts of the faithful, granted by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice these consolations of the Christ. Amen. Deacon Norm Cantrell, on behalf of Father Patty, Deacon Ed, and all the parishioners of Most Holy Trinity Catholic Church, we'd like to thank you for listening to our recording of the Holy Mass. Now, as you may know, we are currently building a new church. And one of the major fundraisers for the new church is our spring raffle. And I'd like to give everyone an opportunity that views our masses to help us in this process. Our spring raffle is actually 16 individual raffles. We give away a total of over $15,000 in cash and prizes. There are eight $250 raffles, three $3,000 raffles, four non-cash prizes of trips to the beach, to the lake, to the mountain, and also a boat cruise, as well as a grand prize of $5,000. The unique thing about our raffle is that every ticket purchased is eligible for every one of the drawings. So you have 16 opportunities to win. If you'd like to help us in our endeavor, please contact me via my email. That's ncantrell at biloxidiocese.org. That's n-c-a-n-t-r-e-l-l-e -L -L -E at BiloxiDiocese.org. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching our videos, and may God bless. <laughs>